Konnichiwa, welcome to Ebony Store. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the saws that we have on the website. Most of them are made by Z-Saw and Z-Saw is a company that's been going for over 90 years in Japan. The first one I'd like to talk to you about is this little one here. It's called the Handy 200. It has a 200 mil long blade and it's for general purpose. It's called a Kataba. Kataba is a saw that you use for carpentry and joinery, for cutting through uh, planks, boards, cutting mortises and tenons. All your initial cuts would be done with a kataba saw. Being a small kataba, it fits neatly into your toolbox. And if you're new to Japanese tools, this is a good saw to start off on because it's um, economically priced and it's also a good size to get the hang of um, cutting on the pull. Uh, by cutting on the pull, I mean that all the Japanese saws have their teeth pointing back towards you. And so the, the cut is on the pull stroke rather than on the push stroke, as it is in Western saws. The cut being on the pull stroke uh, is a much more natural action. And as you pull, the blade automatically tenses straight and stays rigid because of the pull. So that's why you can have a much thinner blade um, and get a much finer cut with the Japanese saw. Because the action is on the pull, you can actually use a much thinner blade for it. This is the bigger version of this same saw. It has the same teeth for uh, ripping and cross-cutting, but this has the benefit that you can actually fold it. So this one uh, folds out and it also folds up like that so that you can get a cut in the middle of a board or start a cut in the middle of a board. And the cut itself is very fine and you end up getting through the wood much faster uh, with this because of the longer blade. Yeah, you can just tuck it there and tuck it into your toolbox and it's, it's there ready for you whenever you need it. This one here is the Ryoba saw. Uh, the Ryoba is a Japanese temple maker saw. So this saw has a lot of significance in Japan, Japanese carpentry. This is the saw that the temple makers used to cut the joints on the temples, on the big beams, all those intricate uh, joints that you see being done on YouTube and so on. This uh, has teeth on both sides. One side here with the, with the bigger teeth are for ripping, so that's cutting along the grain, so cutting this way. And the other side here with the finer teeth is for cross cutting, so cutting across the grain like that. It has a very thin blade, so the cut is very, very fine and aggressive at the same time. You end up with a very fine finish on the cut in spite of it being so uh, aggressive on the cut. This saw here is called the hardwood saw and this is a saw that uh, we use predominantly here in WA because we have a lot of hardwoods like Jara, Blackbutt, Wandu, these are very very hardwoods and this saw gives a very very fine finish on, on hardwoods. So in fact the harder, the denser the wood is, the finer the, the, the finish feels after you've cut it. Um, but this saw is generally good for Australia in general because most of the timber we get here it's very, very hard, you know, uh, and this is quite amazing when you actually feel it after it's been cut. It feels like a glass surface. Yeah, it's amazing. So that one. Um, this one here is a dozuki. So dozuki is a dovetail saw, and you would use that for cutting dovetails, finger joints, even smaller mortises and tenons for like small frames and things like that. And you would use this to cut strips for kumiko. Kumiko is the Japanese screens that they make with the different geometric shapes in them for which you need to cut very small pieces very accurately at um, varying angles and you can use this for that. Um, so this is a very very fine fine cut. Uh, I think the blade is only 3.3 mil and the cut, the kerf, is about 0.36 mil so it's a very very fine cut. A lot of luthiers use this to join the sides of the guitar at the back there to get that cut perfect. This is, this is a type of saw that you use. Some of them also use this for putting the frets in because I think this matches perfectly the, the size that you need the groove to be for when you're installing frets on a guitar. So that's very useful for luthiers as well as um, cabinet makers and anyone who's doing fine joints in their woodwork. This is a smaller version of the same, Dozuki. The blade is slightly different. This blade is for softwood and this blade is for hardwood. This one here is uh, called the Handy 150. It's called a craft saw in Japan. 
Uh, you can actually use it for cutting um, soft metals, uh, plastics, leather, um, things like that, as well as wood. And you would use this for very small pieces and for a very fine cut. This one here is called an Azebiki and it has ripping uh, teeth on one side and cross-cut teeth on the other. And this is made in such a way that you can start a cut in the middle of a board. And this is also useful for luthiers who have to cut grooves on the soundboard of a guitar or on the back of a guitar. You need to cut out grooves and the, the material is very thin. So you want to use a very delicate um, cut. You don't want to cut through. And that's what this is good at doing. So the blade is angled so that you can start a cut in the middle of a board and then cut through if you want or just cut to the depth you want. And that's some of the range that we have on the website. We have uh, a few more as well, which we'll talk about in upcoming videos. Uh, I hope that's uh, been informative and uh, giving you some information when deciding about Japanese saws. Uh, please go onto the website and have a look. There's more information on the website as well. And um, pick the saw that's best for you. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu.